Hello learners, how are you all? I pray to Allah that everyone is well. Today I will explain some creative questions. Now you can see a creative question and the question is The buses of company A depart every 20 minutes and the buses of company B depart every 30 minutes from a bus station. Now question A Write the prime factors of 20 and 30. And question B If they depart the bus station together at the beginning in what minimum time will they depart together next time okay now to solve a we have to find the prime factors of 20 and 30 so first one is two. as 20 is an even number so first of all we have to divide it by 2 dividing 20 by 2 we get 10 again it is a even number so we have to divide it by 2 dividing 10 by 2 we get 5 and 5 is a prime number okay so we get two prime factors of 22 and 5 okay. and you have to write therefore prime factors of 20 are 2 and 5 okay now 30 so obviously 30 is an even number and we have to divide it by 2 dividing 30 by 2 we get 15 and 15 is an odd number so we can divide it by 2 and we can divide it by 3 dividing 15 by 3 we get 5 and here 5 is a prime number so here we get 3 prime factors of 30 2 3 and 5 okay so you should write prime factors of 30 are 2 3 and 5 and hence the answer okay and again in question B we have to find the minimum time Okay, all of you should note that if the words minimum, minimum or least are in the question, then you have to find the LCM. Okay, then you have to find the LCM. I'm repeating it. If the words minimum or least are there in the question, then you have to find the LCM. Okay, and if the words maximum maximum or greatest greatest or largest are in the question then you have to find the GCF okay I'm repeating it if the words maximum greatest and largest are in the question then you have to find the GCF of the given numbers okay so here we have to find the minimum time and for this the LCM of 20 and 30 will be the required minimum time okay and now first of all you should write 20 and 30 both of them are even numbers so first we are dividing by 2 dividing 20 by 2 we get 10 dividing 30 by 2 we get 15 again we can divide it by 2 so look 5 is common to both 10 and 5 Thus, we can divide it by 5. Dividing 10 by 5, we get 2. And dividing 15 by 5, we get 3. Okay. So, the LCM is the product of 2, 5, 2, 3. Okay. Therefore, the LCM is 2 into 5 into 2 into 3 equals 60. So, after 60 minutes, they will depart together. Okay. And hence, the answer is 60 minutes. Here, you can see another creative question that is, in a park the red light blinks every 30 minutes the yellow light blinks every 36 minutes and the green light blinks every 45 minutes question a is blinking together first after what minimum time will the lights blink together again okay so i have already told you that if there is the word minimum then you have to find the lcm okay so lcm of 30 36 and 45 will be the required minimum time so let's find the LCM so here 30 36 are even but 45 is odd so we can divide 30 and 36 by 2 by dividing 30 we get 15 okay and dividing 36 by 2 we get 18 45 moves down undivided and we can divide all the numbers by 3 dividing 15 by 3 we get 5 dividing 18 by 3 we get 6 and dividing 45 by 3 we get 15 
here we can divide 6 and 15 by 3 dividing 6 by 3 we get 2 dividing 15 by 3 we get 5 and here 5 moves down undivided look here it is a 5 and it is a 5 so we can divide both of them by 5 by dividing 5 by 5 we get 1 2 moves down undivided and dividing this 5 we get another 1 okay therefore to find the LCM we have to multiply all the numbers okay therefore LCM equal 2 into 3 into 3 into 5 into 2 which yields 180 hence the required minimum time is 180 means okay that is the answer question B is if the red light blinks every 24 minutes after what minimum minutes will the lights blink together again so here again we have the word minimum that is we have to find the LCM okay so you should write here red light blinks every 24 minutes and LCM of 24 36 45 will be the required minimum time so again you have to write the numbers 24 36 and 45 so here we can divide 24 and 36 by 2 so dividing 24 by 2 we get 12 and dividing 36 by 2 we get 18 45 moves down and divided again here 12 and 18 are even numbers so dividing 12 by 2 we get 6 dividing 18 by 2 we get 9 again 45 moves down undivided so look here all the numbers can be divided by 3 so dividing 6 by 3 we get 2 dividing 9 by 3 we get 3 and dividing 45 by 3 we get 15 here we can divide 3 and 15 by 3 so 2 moves down undivided and dividing 3 by 3 we get 1 dividing 15 by 3 we get 5 and now we have to multiply these numbers to find the LCM sorry therefore LCM equal 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 2 into 5 which is 360 hence the required minimum time is 360 means that is the answer okay here you can see another creative question that is a teacher wants to divide 40 apples and 24 bananas among some students so question a is you have to find the maximum number of students to whom he can divide those fruits equally okay so here in the question we have the word maximum that is we have to find the GCF okay because I have told that if there is a word maximum or largest or greatest then you have to find the GCF so here as you get the word maximum we have to find the GCF of 40 and 24 the GCF of 40 and 24 will be the required number okay so as similar we have to write 40 24 as both of them are even number so we have to divide by 2 dividing 40 by 2 we get 20 dividing 24 by 2 we get 12 again we have to divide both of them by 2 because the numbers are even number so dividing 20 by 2 we get 10 and dividing 12 by 2 we get 6 again both of them are even number so we have to divide by 2 dividing 10 by 2 we get 5 and dividing 6 by 2 we get 3 so for GCF we have to multiply only these numbers okay this 3 therefore GCF of 40 and 24 equal 2 into 2 into 2 okay, equal 8 hence the maximum number of students is 8 and the answer is 8 okay and question B is if the number of apples and bananas is less 4 of the before then find the maximum number of students to whom he can divide the fruits equally okay so here the number of apples and bananas is 4 less than before then number of apples we have to subtract 4 from 40 years 36 and the number of bananas we have to subtract 4 from 24 
that is 20 and now the GCF of 36 this 36 and 20 will be the required number okay so let's find the GCF again you have to divide 36 and 20 by 2 and dividing 36 by 2 we get 18 dividing 20 by 2 we get 10 then we have to divide by 2 dividing 18 by 2 we get 9 and dividing 10 by 2 we get 5 okay and therefore the GCF will be multiplication of 2 and 2 okay that is 4 and hence the maximum number of students is 4 and the answer is 4 so try to do the remaining BQ yourself